The reporting live from Rensselaer, Indiana, we've come upon what may be, and I don't say this lightly, the most vile and disgusting gas station bathroom that we have ever encountered. Now, when we first heard about this, we were amazed. We couldn't believe this. We said, could it be that it's this vile, this disgusting? Let's go take a look. Here we go. So we're just... Okay, so not even my shirt could not even my shirt's gonna cover this up. I, I don't even want to take it. Nice here strong hydrogen there. sulfide the smell emanating from that gas. floor we drain. You can see something has severely corroded uh, the steel grating in that floor drain. Probably urine. Probably you know a couple decades worth of urine uh, just working. It's acidic wonder. And that, all right, let's take a look at the one of the. So, so I gotta get out of here. I, no, this let's is take a look at one of the. I can't. It's just, 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 I come can't. on, we're just gonna go in here real quick. Let's take a nice look at the one of the. This. Oh, God. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, this fucking is. Uh, okay, we're going back for round two. So we gotta get this. <laughs> So, you know, oh, sweet Christ! What's this? Look at this thing coming from the what the shit is in? What causes this? The sewer gas is highly God. caustic, and oh, what's going God. on in here is just going to be it's it's bad like for you. Layer of hell. Wait, this wait, 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 wait! So we didn't, no, we, didn't we didn't hit the sink in the the, the, the vanity. <laughs> You didn't hit the vanity. It's a little bird bath. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not breathing in while I'm in here. I'm not doing it. No, you didn't get the vanity. We didn't go do a vanity. Just I'm out of here. Okay, we're going back in there. Come on. You thought you kind of like it. It's a good metaphor, you know? It's, 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 okay, so anyways, I was saying something really, really bad happened in there. Oh, the guy flushed the toilet since we were in there. But the smell coming out of the bathroom drain... You got this old hand dryer now. It will, it's going to be spitting very caustic, uh, viral laden air back at you once you press this button. Probably contaminating uh, the surrounding uh, area within you know within a realm of six feet. You can look at all these different drains. Uh, there's you know looks like it hasn't been cleaned in quite some time. And I want to point something out to you over here. Step by, get a close up of this tone. You see. Once uh, again, a Sloan valve. Let's see that right there. Sloan. That's right. That's right. The name Sloan. holds true. All right. Even in the filthiest gas station bathroom, you're still going to be using a Sloan valve. That's correct. Now, do me a favor and hold the pot for a minute. Here we I, go. I Let's can't believe get, you brought these in. Just need in to here. get in here. Look now. Look at the drywall. Look how deep that goes. You got to get about a good three or four inches uh, into the, the vacuous space, the void behind the, the drywall. You could see uh, a good amount of. Uh, uh, pipe tape as well as uh, glue was used in uh, in in the, the you know assimilating the pipe to the interior of the wall over there the PVC so they did a good job now I'm not sure how long this is going to be out of order for but uh, that's all we got for you now I think we did a pretty good job we didn't even get to the ceiling yet but that's fine have a good rest of the day go fix it bye a turkey vulture soars almost drunkenly above the commercial detritus of the Ohio freeway landscape. As I stand here on Pennsylvania sandstone, sandstone of Pennsylvania age, that appears to bear the markings of ancient glaciers. I was just looking for a spot to piss. Look at that. What is that? Roughly 300 million year old. Oh, you got, what's that in there? You got some muscovite? What is that stuff? What's the shimmery shit? Just old seafloor. Well, shallow sea. Quite likely. Look at that though. You got these... Is that glacial striations? Is that glacial scouring? They'd be going north to south, roughly speaking. I think that's right. That's that's north, you know? That's about right, huh? It's kind of cool little cracks and divots opening up where the rock is slowly coming apart from, uh, at least on this outcrop, slowly coming apart from the, the larger mass. Getting some erosion right there. This must be where they put that uh, erosion barrier up. Not a lot of good it's going to do, but you know the placebo effect works sometimes. Not really. Look, yeah, there's another huge crack in it. That's nice. You want to pry that up with a pry bar, you know, help this thing get moving, you know. Like seeing the uh, geologic uh, destruction of human structures, you know. You know, at this lot that's be just being used to house some of the, uh, the road construction equipment in, here in Pittsburgh, I came over here to take a leak. I got my nice 40 of green tea. Came over to take a piss, and it's just a plethora, just a host of uh, all these invasive plant species, including mmm, mullen, it's medicinal. Mmm, yay, you can smoke it. 
You put it in your ass, it'll cure cancer, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Get it out of here. Don't give a shit. Oh, see, there's my piss. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get that in there. You got, uh, of course, uh, invasive as hell, uh, Amur honeysuckle. That's a real pain in the ass. Look at that. There's those uh, those berries mature, those fruits maturing right there. Axillary flowers that pop up in between those opposite leaves. Over here, you got the dreaded calorie pear. I'd rather look at a puddle of piss, to be honest, but uh, there you go, so you know what it is. It does look like little tiny pears, okay? Little pear fruits uh, emerging out of this. This is all invasive bullshit, all invasive garbage that replaces the once diverse, really cool woodland uh, that was here probably 400 years ago. Maybe, maybe even a little bit sooner. You got this uh, uh, Asiatic mulberry, of course, too. Uh, mm, it's edible. Who cares? Get the fuck out of here. Who cares? Who cares if something benefits people or not? That's not the reason to keep it around. If it's if it benefits people and it's not native, great, keep it. If it benefits people and it invades the surrounding landscape and takes the place of what where could be cool native plants that benefit the ecology, get it the fuck out of there. And of course we got this guy, right? Really aggressive native. And by how aggressive it is, Erigeron canadensis, formerly Conisa canadensis, Asteraceae, the sunflower family, just little sunflowers, little sunflowers without any rays. Oh, actually, they do have rays. They do have those tiny white ligules, tiny white rays, just like a sunflower has, all right? Anyway, uh, but this is this is so aggressive. It's a native, but it's super aggressive. As you can tell, it's growing out of a fucking crack in the asphalt, and it's all throughout that field over there. You would guess that it is probably invasive as hell, on other continents, all right? Doesn't get too out of control here. There's probably insects and fungi that keep it in check, mostly insects. You get it to Europe, you get it to uh, the African continent in places where it's a similar climate, it's gonna go nuts and it's probably weedy as shit. So you can always tell what's gonna be invasive in other, where are you going, get over here. You can always tell what's gonna be invasive as hell in other continents uh, by how aggressive it is at home, right? Acer Nagundo, Box Elder, Saladago or golden rods, they can be invasive as hell in other continents. She got a thing for rats. She just saw a street rat run into that uh, slag pile over there, you know. I just gotta pick, stay away, all right? I'll have to get you your shots. Eupatorium altissimum. I bet this thing's invasive as hell in Europe. Is this over in Europe? It's gotta be, because it, it's one of the few natives, it's native here, but it's one of the few natives that can get around, come up through cracks in the asphalt, and generally, does great at uh, you know recolonizing places that humans have fucked up, like railroad, embank railroad embankments, uh, you know, decomposing asphalt, uh, cracks between building facades and sidewalks, etc. You can see it's over there, too. It's great native, right? Relative is stevia in the sunflower family. These are maturing flower buds. They're not. They're not flower heads. They're not open yet. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's got to be invasive. <laughs> it's got to be a bad one when it gets to other continents. Over here we got Arctium Minus from Europe. All right, really bad invasive here. Relative of thistles, also in the sunflower family. Did you know artichokes and thistles, thistles, are sunflowers? Well, not sunflowers, but they're in Asteraceae. It's a huge family. Arctium Minus, invasive as hell here, invasive as hell in areas in Australia and uh, and other continents uh, that it didn't evolve on. It's it's kind of nice. I bet it's really important where it's native here. It's, it could be pretty bad though. God, that's fucking nuts. They're all plaster casts, all right? They're phonies, but they're very articulate plaster casts of the original. So much so that all the, all the deterioration on that, I presume it was marble? What was, the, what was the rock they carved this shit out of? But you can catch all the deterioration. And I was just told that these are in better condition than the originals because the originals are still outside, exposed to the elements, and have continued to degrade so like the faces, for instance, of all those stiffs up there, the this is in better shape than the original. The original one, it's still in Greece or wherever the hell it is. Well, that's not Greece. This obviously came a little bit later. They got the, the goofy hats and shit, those toilet hats. But you get the point. They're in worse, they're in worse shape, you know, because all the limestone and stuff. That's fucking wild. What, what was that society like? Jesus Christ, would I have been, in, would I have been thrown in jail? Maybe not. You, know, you never know. Now here in the Carnegie Museum of Natural History, we're taking a look down here. Invertebrates of the Western Interior Seaway. That's the uh, Cretaceous Age Ocean. 
Uh, generally shallow ocean that inhabited much of Western North America, comprising the uh, current United States. That could also be our safe word, okay? If you say invertebrates of the Western Interior Seaway, I'll know to then take the golf cleats off and stop punching you repeatedly in the testicles. Anyway, moving right along, look at these wonderful shapes. Now, are those gastropods or could that be some sort of ammonite? I'm going to go with an ammonite. The rest here are all ammonites, including this one, the bull penis ammonite. Baculites, named after the organ known as the baculus. That's actually an ammonite that's a variation on an ammonite. Pretty wonderful. Anyway, moving on here, uh, we got this uh, West Texas shout-out. West Texas shout-out, Anoceramus genus, the genus I'm always ranting about, running my mouth about. So ubiquitous in that West Texas limestone and uh, West Texas uh, uh, Chihuahua desert, uh, barren, generally barren environment. You always see it in the Edwards Plateau as well. Look at that, that Tururite I spotted in Pittsburgh. That's nice. That's lovely. Look at, look at, you get that pubescence on them leaves, lending a slight indument of very tiny hairs. It feels like velvet. Then, of course, you've got those wonderful and so lovely moth pollinated flowers finishing up. They were just blooming last night. It's the morning, so they're closing up now, emanating that perfume like smell, like all the moth pollinated flowers do. In there, look at those giant juicy anthers. Solanaceae, the nightshade family. There's one, there's another one over there. But most importantly, I'm really impressed by this massive uh, poison ivy. This poison ivy vine, you got climbing up this, uh, you know, I, I give them props for leaving it there. That looks nice. It does look nice. It is a lovely native. It's a lovely native vine. Should anyone have uh, the misfortune to rub up against it, they'll of course break out in a rash. Uh, you can see they've actually been pruning it up there too, you know, pruning it to form. All right, Toxicodendron radicans, all right? If you could stand under it, you know, make a little stand under the poison ivy vine on the corner of Harding and Heron Avenue, and, uh, you know, blow me a kiss. How about that? Look at that. It's, holy shit. <laughs> Berries are uh, bird dispersed, of course. That's kind of light. That's kind of lovely. It does look nice. You could see at one point it was going up. I wonder if whoever pruned it knew what it was. Evidently, they don't, presumably, they don't know what it was. If they do know what it is, I give them even more props. It's kind of a, it's, it's a blend of like a dick move and also just kind of funny. Because this is not going to kill you. He's going to get a bad rash, you know. On the outskirts of Toledo. Look at that guy. You see the little beaver over there? You see him over there? Where'd he go? On the outskirts of Toledo. Right near the shit plant. Right near the Michigan state line. We see a massive goddamn osprey nest up there. See that? You guys could hear him calling. You see that? Look, he got all them twigs and stuff he brought up there. Right above the shit plant. And also above the little river. That's where he's getting his fish, you know. Because osprey are obligate fish eaters, you know. Where did little, uh, where'd the little beaver go? What's he doing over there? You see there? You see he's looking. Look, he's looking right at us. See him up there? Hey! What are you doing? Oh, he's bite by... Was that a big microwave dish? What is that thing? Oh, look, he looks like some sort of Dr. Seuss. Oh, he's kind of cute. He looks like a Dr. Seuss character a little bit. You know, his little mohawk and stuff, his white face. We're looking at his ass right now. I didn't I didn't line it up like that. It's just how it ended up. I'm taking a look at the... Uh, it's like, like most Midwestern kind of Rust Belt situations. Nice mix of natives and invasives. Oh, yeah, look at that hibiscus, right? Right next to the purple loose strife. See that? That's uh, Lithrum, pomegranate family. Lithraceae. It's so soothing out here, you know? You get a you get a nice old Ford Econoline van with some rust, uh, some little rust coloration around a wheel well. Get out here, you know, bring some fishing poles. You could do wonders in, in these, some of these old industrial canals. Oh, is that is that Youp? Is that Eupatorium? Oh, yeah, but that ain't perfoliatum. Floristic surveys of America's Rust Belt. Look, see, this is all this is all cornice. See that? It's a cornice species. It's a dagwood. See that? See what them little uh, those are the fruits maturing, little berries maturing. It kind of smells like uh, you know the products of petroleum production. That's kind of interesting. Oh shit! There's the poison ivy. God damn it! It's poison ivy everywhere. Oh look, it's a nice uh. Evening primrose. It's a nice uh, onothera. Massive one, too. Hey, don't, don't fuck with that beaver. Leave it alone. You fuck with that little, cute little baby beaver. No more teriyaki uh, 
chicken strips for you, okay? We have a deal, Louie. You listen, all right? You're good at listening something. Oh, well, what is this? Is this a verbin AC or some sort of a... Uh, what is this? Heliotropium. Oh, that's a, ver that's a verbin AC for sure. Look at it. You got some pokeweed, some phytolacca. All right? They're good for diet. I'll make you puke if you eat them, but they got, you know, nice... Uh, Nice pigmentations in those fruits when they mature. Nice blue and purple pigmentations. You got some elderberry too. Mildly toxic, but can also be medicinal, medicinal if you process it right. See these grasses? This is all the Phragmites. It's probably the invasive one. I don't know. I'm not, you know, I don't really pay much attention to it. I should. All right, but again, this is in my region. I'm a little out of my element here. Where did the Asclepius go? I just seen a nice, I just seen a nice milkweed. Is it is it is that the what's is that the international bridge? What's that over there? Is that Canada? What'd you say about a fire? You saw a tube with a bunch of fire coming? <laughs> look at that. Look, there's a oh, look he got all the cans. Seven day tub. Look, he got all the cans. Why well, did you say you seen a tube with a bunch of flames there's coming out? There's a tube, they're burning the methane from the tube. And now I, I I ain't been in Detroit in twenty years, probably. Twenty years it's been since I've been over here. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll see you later then, okay? Okay, 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 great, 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 but what you wanna do is you come down here, hang on, hang on, you come down here and you wanna go right, but, but don't, but stop at the second light, hang on, I'm giving you directions, hang on.